it has now become that much easier to see that we truly are living in the very last days. Check this out. Media ignoring one crucial factor in Florida school shooting. And I praise God that somebody actually reported on this because I've been seeing this for decades. And I have mentioned this many times on the radio as well in videos over the years. It says, as information about the perpetrator emerges, a relative confides to a newspaper that the troubled youth who committed the mass murder was on psychiatric medications. You know, those powerful, little understood, mind-altering drugs with fearsome side effects, including suicidal ideation and even homicidal ideation. And so once again, we see a school shooting and people dying at the hands of someone medicated by pharmaceutical drugs. Yet because Big Pharma uses their insane pile of cash to pay off so many politicians, you're not going to hear the truth about their mind-altering drugs being mentioned in the media anytime soon. No, I expect for the next few weeks we're going to be hearing about gun control or other things in the, uh, in the U.S. media. And it's all going to be coming from those paid-off politicians. And nary a single doctor who legally prescribes these psychotropic drugs to children and adults that are far more powerful than any street drug known to man will ever see any jail time. None of these doctors are going to get in any trouble. No laws are going to be passed to stop the drug companies from killing innocent people by murder or even by suicide, not to mention the accidental deaths from being prescribed the wrong medications on a regular basis. In fact, drug overdose deaths exceeded motor vehicle-related fatalities in 36 states recently. Yet, they still sell this stuff without so much as a slap on the wrist. These drugs have been proven in many lawsuits as well as case studies to cause those taking them to lose all morals so as to actually go forth and kill loved ones, complete strangers, as well as themselves. And as we can see, these deaths are then used by the powers that be to further bolster political agenda. And we all know those in power will never do anything to threaten their big pharma cash cow, and so it's only going to get much worse. And by the way, were you aware that these mind-altering drugs were prophesied? Not only that, it was also prophesied who would be behind this sorcery from the beginning. You know, many years ago, students of prophecy did in fact expose the popes of Rome as the culprits here. And of course, people laughed out loud for a few years. But then the laughing stopped in 2012 and the Vatican was actually exposed by the Canadian government for crimes against humanity wherein their connection with the pharmaceutical giants of the world was outed, thereby confirming the prophecy fulfilled. You know, this is just one more cog in the wheel of truth put forth by the Christian God who penned the prophecies that when all these evil fruits are gathered together in one place, it makes it very easy for all to see who the man of sin truly is. And is there such a book wherein all the prophecies and the fruits of the man of sin are compiled? Yes, there is. It's called the Bible. Thank you for watching. God bless.